Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Streamlabs tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new multi-stream feature in Streamlabs OBS. This is a brand new feature that Streamlabs has just announced, and it's very cool because it allows you to stream to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook at the same time directly from Streamlabs OBS. Now, it does require Streamlabs Prime, and if you don't know what that is, that is a paid service that Streamlabs offers that has a ton of benefits other than just multi-streaming. You get tons of free themes and overlays for your streams. You also get multi-streaming. In addition to that, you get access to all the apps that Streamlabs offers, and you get your own website with a custom URL. So for me, it would be like gaginggadgets.com, and it would be a great place to send all of my viewers to donate, watch my streams, and see all my social media. Finally, you also get access to create merch and sell it through Streamlabs. So a ton of benefits there. To me, it's a great way to spend a little bit of money and basically be set up to live stream instantly. Now, if you do decide to sign up for Streamlabs Prime, use the link in the description because you'll save $10 on your first month. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to use the brand new multi-stream feature in Streamlabs OBS. So the first thing you need to do is simply go to streamlabs.com and check the description because I have all the links I discuss as well as the detailed write-up down there. What I recommend doing first is from the homepage, downloading Streamlabs OBS. It is compatible with Windows and Mac. Go ahead and get that downloading and installing in the background. And while that is taking place, we'll go ahead and log in and create our Streamlabs account. The installation process for Streamlabs OBS is very straightforward. So once you get that installing, go ahead and select login right here. Now, like I said, we can multi-stream with either Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. So initially to create your Streamlabs account, you will have to log in with one of those accounts. I'm going to do Twitch, but you could do YouTube or Facebook. It would be exactly the same. And when you initially do this, you have to grant access to Streamlabs to your Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube account. And from here, you just read through the access that they have, and then you select Authorize. Now that we've logged in to our Streamlabs account or created one, the next thing we need to do because we are multi-streaming to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch is connect those other accounts so that we can multi-stream. And we do that by going in the left sidebar, scroll down, where you see settings under account, select settings. At the very top, you'll see account settings. Go ahead and select that. And as you can see right now, I currently have Twitch connected, which is my primary. So whatever you used as your primary. Now, in order to multi-stream to YouTube and Facebook and Twitch at the same time, I need to connect YouTube and Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with Facebook. So I'll just select Merge next to Facebook. Then I'll select Continue As. And then you just have to select the page or pages you wanna give Streamlabs access to. So I'm gonna do Gaging Gadgets and then select Next. After that, we can configure what access Streamlabs will have to our Facebook account. I recommend leaving most of this because they will need it to live stream and post videos, things like that. So I'll select Done. And then once it's connected, Select OK. All right, now that we have Facebook and Twitch connected, we need to connect to YouTube. So I'm just going to select Merge right here. It'll bring us to Google, where we just select the account we want to sign in, if you have multiple accounts. And then select the YouTube account you want to use. So I have a brand account. After that, we just need to grant access to Streamlabs to have access to our Google account. So I'm going to select Allow. Now, if it was successful, it'll bring you back to the account settings page and you'll now see unlink. So I now have unlink next to Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook in here. All right, so now that we have our Streamlabs Prime account and we've connected Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, we're ready to go to Streamlabs OBS. So go ahead and open up Streamlabs OBS and we need to log into our account. So go down to the bottom left and select the arrow that looks like it's pointing right. Log into the account that you created your Streamlabs account with. So that for me, that was Twitch. And you might be asked to grant access again to your Twitch account for Streamlabs OBS this time. So go ahead and select Authorize. Once we're logged into Streamlabs OBS, we can start setting up our stream here. And because we have Streamlabs Prime, we actually have access to a ton of really cool overlays. And we can get there by just going to Themes right here. So you can go through and you can install any of these. And they have really good looking themes. These include transitions and everything. So basically you'll look like a professional streamer almost instantly. Now, while you can use those overlays, I'm gonna keep it very simple this time and just create my own very quick one. But if you're not sure how Streamlabs OBS works, the editor right here is basically the setup for your stream. So right here is an example of what your stream will look like. And as you can see, it's currently blank. You have the mini feed. So these are different things that have happened on your different channels that you've connected. So I had some followers 
Under here, we have scenes and sources. Scenes are basically a group of sources. That's gonna be anything from your game, your webcam, microphone, all of those sources make a scene. And then over here, we have the mixer, and this is just mixer for audio. So as you can see, it has my mic, desktop audio, if I was playing a game, things like that. So I'll just add some sources here, and to do that, we just add the plus button. And then under standard, I'm just gonna select display capture to add my monitor screen. Then go to add source, add source. And then I have it right here. So I can select different displays if I have them and then select done. And then as you can see, I can move this around and I can also make it the size of the entire stream right there. Now I'm just gonna add a webcam. So I'll hit the plus button again. And over here in the standard, I'll select video capture device and then select add source. And it has my webcam right here. You can also select different webcams and change the resolution, things like that. I'm just gonna go to done and then I can move my webcam around however I want to. So now basically I'm ready to go. I have my stream set up. I'm connected to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. And all I need to do to go live is simply select go live in the bottom right down here. So I'm gonna do that. Once it comes up with the go live screen, it's gonna ask me where I wanna go live. And currently it just has Twitch selected, but I am connected to Facebook and YouTube. So all I need to do to stream to them is simply turn them on. Now over here in this section, I can add a title to my stream, Gaging Gadgets Test Stream, with a description, and then I have my game. So for me, it's just gonna be IRL, but if you had a game, maybe you're playing Warzone or Valorant, things like that, you can add those there. And then also I can select which Facebook page I'm going to stream to for Facebook. And I'm gonna use optimized encoder settings just because I'm doing IRL. If you're doing a game, it might change the resolution of your game. So you wanna test this out before you actually use it. I'll turn that on. Now, before we go live, I recommend showing the advanced settings because we're multi-streaming here. So if you're gonna use any tags for Twitch, you can add those here. And then under Facebook settings, you will have to select use a different title in game because I'm gonna to have to select a game from the dropdown list to actually go live there. And then for YouTube, you can even create a YouTube event. So if you wanted to do that, that's how you would do that there. And you can also use a different title and description as well. And now with everything configured in the settings, we should be good to go live. And to do that, all we need to do is go down and select confirm and go live. It's gonna go through the steps with Twitch, Facebook, and then YouTube to start going online. And we are now live. As you can see, it says live up here. So if I go to the Gaging Gadgets Twitch channel, you can see that I'm now live. When I go to YouTube, you can see that I'm now live there as well. And then on Facebook, we're live as well. So we're currently live streaming to three different platforms at the same time from Streamlabs OBS using Streamlabs Prime. Now, once I'm done live streaming and I wanna end the stream, all I need to do is select end stream down here in the bottom right. All right, so that's how you use the new multi-stream feature from Streamlabs. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Streamlabs tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.